hope and we're positive that this stadium is indeed going to be opened up this year before the end of this year. This stadium is going to open up this place economically. It's going to add to the GDP of Moya because it has a capacity of 15,000 people. And those 15,000 people is not going to be only people from where. We're going to be holding international tournaments. So when we have people coming from Nairobi or coming from other counties, coming to Moya, that will mean business for Moya people. I'm sure when they are going back, they'll be going back with something like rice or produce or agricultural produce, and that will really be good for us. If you remember, our governor is the one who really pushed for this stadium. It is 99% complete and we cannot wait. Our youth and our teams cannot wait to use this facility. We have about 200 teams in Kirinyaga and uh, we have the Governor's Cup and uh, at, they compete from ward levels up to the, the county level. So we are very grateful indeed uh, for the PS and his team. We note that there are only some very few things that need to be done, very few, and we are hoping that uh, the national government will do it quickly. We have been assured by our peers here that in about two or three months, this facility will be open. As you can see behind, you can see our teams. They are very eager. They came to meet our peers and to demonstrate that they are very eager. Sporting fa facilities need to be encouraged in this country because when you have this kind of facility, it removes our youth from out there you know, doing <coughs> vices that uh, they should not uh, be engaged in. So it will also <coughs> enable our teams to come and use this facility. It's a beautiful facility. And uh, when is, uh, this state, when it's not being used, it's uh, not benefiting uh, Kirinyaga people. But when we start using it to be, to be beneficial, I like the idea that uh, our peers has also said that uh, we could also see how stalls could be constructed, what we may call hustler stalls. So that as sporting activities are going on, we could also have people engaging in economic activities in the stadium. Uh, the stadium is almost done. Just some few finishing touches that we have discussed here with uh, the leadership, our MP Honorable uh, Mary Maingi and the DG. Uh, we've had a good discussion on some of the things that would be important to be completed so that the community can be able to use this facility. Indeed, it's a good facility. It's about 15,000 seater facility. Um, and we are happy the way it has come out. We've just noted some finishing issues that we want to fix as a ministry before we hand it over. So that we're handing over something of good standards and good quality to the people of Kirinyaga. We are here with Sports Kenya that runs, uh, that develops and runs all our stadia. Uh, led by the chairman here and his entire board, uh, plus the CEO and his technical team. And we're also very graciously hosted here by the county government of uh, Kirinyaga, led by the deputy governor and his team from the sports department and the local area member of parliament. Uh, so you can see that this community is very eager to have a world-class sporting facility right here yes. uh, in Mwea. Na sisi kama serikali kuu tunataka tutekeleze hii mradi tupatie watu wa Kirinyaga waendelee. Uh, we have a very good program from the ministry called Talanta Hela. Uh, tunataka tuzunguke tutafute vipawa from our young men and women so that we can develop them. Uh, so possibly we'll be talking to the leadership here where we can bring an academy, a sports academy here so that as the MPs and the MCAs and the county governments are running their grassroots tournaments for soccer and other sports, we will be sending scouts to come and look for talent who will then be progressed to our Academy of Sports, uh, which we want to devolve from Kasarani to Stadia like this. And then we commercialize and monetize the talent of our young sportsmen and women so that we can now finally have people use their talents as their livelihoods. People can use their talents as their jobs. And that's what we really want to do as a ministry. Uh, so it's very important for us that as we are identifying and developing talent, we have infrastructure like this to be the hardware of our academies.